हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 36 ऑफ गिटहब इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू क्लोन कमिट सिंग एंड पुश यूजिंग विजुअल स्टूडियो सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट 36 प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 35 ऑफ गिट एंड गिटहब ट्यूटोरियल दैट इज हाउ टू व्हाट आर द लिस्ट ऑफ यूजफुल गिटहब कमांड्स यूजिंग गिट बैश एंड हाउ टू रिमूव स्पेसिफिक फाइल यूजिंग पीआर so in this video i will discuss few points so what are the points is how to clone repo or repository from remote github repo using visual studio how to commit changes and check history using visual studio how to sync changes to staging area before push changes using visual studio how to push the changes to remote github repository using visual studio so guys in this video i have used the repo called satya2 and my github member name is uh, satya cs github all right and this is the ua this is the repository right so what i'll do here is our step number one is how to clone repo from remote github repo using visual studio so here i have opened my visual studio so when you open visual studio on the right hand side you can see there is three options solution explorer team explorer and class view so you just select here team explorer right and you can see there is some uh, uh, local git repositories which one i already have worked in my previous videos so that it is showing in the list of the repository if it is not showing anything then you can add the clone repo using the option called a clone right so before clone this repo i'll go to my remote github repository and i want to clone this repository called satya2 and in my local directory in this path i have created one folder called visual studio action here i want to clone my repo in this path so to clone this repo i'll go to my visual studio uh, select the code and here you can see i want to clone this url so you just copy there copy this url all right go to visual studio here and uh, you just uh, click on it there is so many options called new add clone view options so i want to clone so just click on it you can see this the enter the url of github git repo to clone so i will paste that url here all right and in this second text box it is asking what path you need to choose to uh, save your repository in your local path so i want to uh, go to here my path all right so here uh, f drive go to f drive and here i'll go here uh, there is one of my git repo and channel and visual studio action right and click ok once you, you just select your path you can see there is checkbox call recursively uh, clone some modules and you just click here clone here make sure your internet connection should be there so it is required to clone your repo from local from remote github to your local uh, git local path that is this one right and uh, i'll i'll check the operations here whatever what it is going on now and you can see there is some process going on receiving objects right and there is one text you can see here the repository is cloned right once the repository i'll go here team explorer you can see once the repository successfully cloned you will get one message like this that is the repository was cloned successfully and also if you will go to the path of your local directory you can see these are all the files and folders whatever you can see in your remote github it is available in your uh, local directory that is the this path right and you can see i'll go to visual studio and also you can see this path here that is the 
I'll do here one thing is okay yeah you can see after clone you can see the path is showing visual studio action right and also this is the branch it's showing this which is the default branch right and uh, if you click here on the upper array you just uh, is, is you can see some options here new branch manage branch view history fetch pull push why this main branch is showing because in our remote it is by default branch is main branch so when we clone this repository so in visual studio it's showing the branch which you, which you have cloned all right so after clone you'll go to the next option called solution explorer and you can see all the files and folders whatever you have cloned you can see in the visual studio solution explorer all right and uh, so guys one more thing I need to mention here uh, that is during clone if it asks for github authentication then give the user credentials like your uh, github username and github user email and it will then it will start cloning of your repo from github remote repository to your local directory so for me i i already have uh, authenticated earlier so it is not asking for me if you are initially doing this process then it may be asking you to uh, to ask you for the github authentication then you should give your github credentials it is nothing but your github uh, username and github uh, uh, mail or github password all right so after cloning uh, it will uh, uh, repo you can see the clone repo repo files in visual studio like this all right and and also in you can see this uh, clone files and folders in our local directory here right as as uh, as you have before cloning the repo and it is uh, after cloning the report you can see all the files and folders here you can see and step number two is how to commit changes and check history uh, using uh, that is the commit changes and check history using visual studio all right so guys before commit and push changes uh, we need to okay now what I'll do here I'll go to Visual Studio uh, I want to add a new line of code in my file 2.cs so I'll open this my file 2.cs alright and and I'll add some line of code here so here what I'll do uh, there is I need to add a new property that is uh, I'll come here to next line uh, I'll add a new property so that it will be so as desktop desktop name all right this is the new property I have added under the class EMP detail <coughs> so when I have added uh, you can see there is one red tick mark is showing that is means it is in a modification mode and also there is one pencil mark here you can see if you click on this so you can see that this file is uh, ready to commit right and uh, if you type is edit it showing right so I'll go to here I, I want to check the history so before commit and push changes I need to check the history of my file 2.cs so I'll go here view history so guys there is no update as of now because I have not done any push or a commit changes so it is the previous changes whatever we have I have done earlier that is on 23rd of uh, October so today is 20 uh, 23rd of October on uh, 12 a.m. but now the time is 23rd of October 9 uh, p.m. so I have not done anything so we need to do uh, the changes after then we'll check the latest history of this file so uh, I want to do the uh, commit changes to that file all right so what I'll do is I close this history and uh, right click on it you can see one commit option right you just click the, you just click this commit option 
so once you click the commit option guys there is one area it is asking that commit message is required and the main branch is there right so what the commit message i need to put here is uh, the property name uh, desktop is added right I want to add this prop, uh, commit message once you do the commit message uh, then this commit message for whatever you have added this is used to for that is for the staging area once you commit so once you write this commit uh, commit message you just click here commit all so guys you can see it's showing commit this is commit id and created locally sync to share your changes with the server right and uh, there is the branch is main all right and there is no on stage changes in the working directory all right so here you can see one upper array right and it's showing one so you click on it and you can see that some uh, uh, that is uh, you can see whatever commit uh, message you have added in the pop-up you can see there is one commit id and what who, who, who's the author name is uh, doing some commit changes and what is the date and the commit message that is the property name desktop is added all right so uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll check the history of uh, okay now the commit message is updated in history section of visual studio that means changes have been committed to staging area so i'll check here the commit so guys you can see once the commit is done the red tick mark is uh, uh, removed right so i want to check the latest history so click on view history so you can see uh, that is the commit id and the author name and the today's date and the commit message is added and the branch name is main right so this is the uh, reflected that is the updated uh, history details reflected in the history section of this particular file all right so what is the next one is so guys uh, what I'll do is now okay so uh, I'll go to my uh, so this is committed to local repo or staging area but it is not committed to remote github repo right so if I'll check this my file 2.cs status using this URL then you can see that commit message is not reflected in our remote github it is showing the old commit message that is ds right but the commit message whatever we have uh, right written that is not reflecting here all right so for that we need to uh, follow the step number three that is sync changes to staging area before push changes using visual studio all right so what i'll do here is uh, go to my file and okay now there is one option called uh, that is okay before that uh, there is one option here you just click here uh, upper array to sync, sync changes okay that is selected and there is one option called sync right you just click on before push the changes using changes the visual studio used a term called sync to share your changes with the server right so uh, you just click on sync changes here so guys here it is showing that uh, successfully synchronized incoming and outcoming commits outgoing commits right and uh, so that means uh, so I'll show you again that is there is my file 2.ch right this desktop name is added and and the commit message is already done right and once the sync is done guys you can see uh, 
the pencil mark here you can see this pencil mark showing zero there is no pending changes as well as the upper array it's showing there is no currently on push changes so you can see under outgoing commit there was uh, that is the commit message whatever we have done before seeing it is showing the uh, file name and the commit message but after seeing the changes that commit message is already gone right that means there is no currently on push there is no currently on push commits that means it is available in our staging area or it is ready to push the changes to our server all right guys so next step is uh, how to push the changes that is step number four or last number that is how to push the changes to remote github repo using visual studio so here i'll go to my visual studio okay again i will check here the it is reflecting or not okay now guys it is reflecting right the property name desktop is added and uh, we'll do just our next process right so here uh, what i'll do is so guys again i'll add one I'll, I'll add some changes and i'll show again this path so that is the i'll add one uh, new property here that is uh, pc name right and save these changes right click on it commit and add is pc name is added all right and commit all when, once you commit all you can see sync to share the changes with the server just click on sync and once you click click on sync there is one called push button is there right uh, so it will push the changes to remote github repo using visual studio so you just click the push option to update those changes to in remote github repository so once you click on push now the process is it is initiating push the changes to our main branch so once the ops successfully pushed it is showing successfully pushed to origin slash main right that means our changes has been pushed to the remote github repository and once the changes has been already pushed and there is no on push or uh, pending changes the pension mark is showing there is no pending changes and the upper array is showing there are currently no pushed commits all right so this is the process and if you go to remote github and refresh it and you can see th our uh, that is commit message is reflecting pc name is added if you uh, select click on this link and you can see that is two addition right that means i have what added one space then i have added the property name pc name under my file 2.cs all right if you go back here click on this file and uh, you can see the same content in your local uh, cla local class that is my file 2.cs the ditto is reflecting in the remote uh, remote github repository that is my file 2.cs that is the the pop uh, that is a desktop name property and the uh, pc name property is reflecting right so in this way guys we can do some git operation using visual studio all right and i'll go to my presentation here so guys uh, uh in this uh, video we already have discussed these points that is how to clone commit sync and push the changes from your local git to remote github and how to clone the repo from remote to local all right so please subscribe and share the cha the channel to uh, get the updated knowledge on dotnet dot and core c sharp sql server github devops mvc and azure so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day